All right, let's learn how to do email password auth on the client side, right, in our app. Um, just to give you a little bit more information about what's going on under the hood, right? So what's gonna happen is in our app, uh, we're gonna ask for the email and password, right? So they're just gonna type them in in the UI right here. Uh, and then it's gonna send them, um, when we say sign in with email password, it's gonna send them um, encrypted, okay, um, to Firebase, right? Firebase, <clears throat> because it has our password, it is actually storing the hashes of the, of the passwords, um, so it can verify them. Uh, it's gonna check to see that, that um, that that, that that is the correct password, and it will send back um, a JWT here, um, or what's called a Java web token, right? And that's sort of hidden by Firebase, right? That's part of um, part of our credentials sort of that, that come back. You don't have to worry about this, just a little bit of information um, about what's going on under the hood. All right, um, the first thing that we need to do is check to see if the user is authenticated. And the easiest way to do that, and this is gonna work across all of our authentication methods, is to use an auth state listener, right? And basically every time that they log in or log out, anything that would change the state of their, their authentication um, is gonna fire off this listener. It's gonna fire an event that this is gonna listen to, and it's, um, it's gonna trigger um, our auth state changed callback. And at that point, it's giving back um, an authentication object, right? And then we can extract things like the user and so on from it and use it to, to go and do the right thing. Remember what we said in the, in the first place was that if they're authenticated, we're gonna go right to the passwords. If they are not, then we're gonna, um, then we're gonna log them in, All right? Uh, so that's the whole idea. So let's go ahead and write that code. Um, so I'm here and let's see, I'm gonna do all my work, like we said, in main activity. So um, the first thing is, is I need a couple of variables. Uh, so I'm going to um, create a Firebase, okay. Um, oh, not here. So Firebase off, I want to see that. Um, it's not there because I need to um, do some setup, right? And actually not very much setup at all because you should already have the things like the, the Google Play Services uh, plugin and everything. And we already have basic Firebase, but we need to add in off. So we need to recompile here, and it's Firebase uh, auth. And we'll go ahead and sync that. All right, let's try it again. Uh, so Firebase auth, there we go. Uh, and I'm gonna create um, an, uh, a variable of my own. And then I'm gonna have a Firebase auth uh, dot auth state listener. Um, then I'm gonna call uh, my auth state listener. All right like so, uh, and then what I'm gonna do is, is in here, I'm gonna be writing a couple listeners actually. Uh, so I'm gonna write a method, initialize listeners, uh, like so, and just underneath that, I'll make, it, I'll make that helper function. All right, uh, what do I need? So my auth state listener is going to be a new off state listener and should stub that in for you. Uh, Firebase auth, what do we get here? So Firebase auth dot, and I can do things, you see some of the methods are like, you know, signing in and, and, and so on. Um, but I, what I care about right now is, is the current user. All right, so I'm gonna take that right there, user, and I believe the type is Firebase user, like so. Uh, in the slides, I logged this, so I, th I think this is a good idea. So I have uh, constants.tag um, that's in here, so just a little constants class, um, and it really doesn't have much more than the tag. Um, and very good, so let's, let's just tag, and we'll say user, uh, and then we can, we can output the user, or we can output user dot to string, or user dot, you can see we have all sorts of various things here. Um, some methods, and let's see. Let's say like so. For instance, if they have a display name, uh, we could you know we could we could get that, and so on. Right. All right. Um, just for the logs, uh, not even going to worry about it. Right. What we really care about though is whether this user actually exists, right? So if the user um, is not null, so if we actually have a user, then what we want to do 
uh, is we want to switch to the password fragment. And the path, uh, you probably already had changed it up here to users. I'm actually going to get rid of this guy. I don't need that anymore um, because the path is going to be dependent. Uh, if we have a user, then we're going to go into users slash and then um, the, the user ID. Remember in our JSON tree, the top level was users and then the user and then passwords underneath that. So um, if I don't want to hard code in uh, Bautel there. What I want to do is take user dot um, UID, all right, like so. Uh, if they are null, then let's go ahead and switch to the, just to the login fragment, like so. Uh, and that will um, that will get us there. By the way, um, you might be wondering about this right here. Um, I did it like this because I, I passed the string um, from from main activity into the fragment, right? Uh, so it's it's kind of like I mean, in some sense, it's kind of like calling child twice, right? Um, from from the root going down two levels. Uh, and I just chose to do it a little bit this way because it because it was easier to pass through a single string than a whole bunch of strings one for for each one. So it just just made made for easy code. So, um, so that is my auth state listener. Uh, let's see, I want a semicolon at the end of that. Very good. Uh, now the second thing that that people typically do is this listener. They don't leave it on all the time. So if the app starts or stops or whatever, then they then they sort of toggle that on on or off. So you might want to override. Um, some different things. So on start, all right. What I'm going to have to do. So this this fires um, after on create, all right. Uh, and every time the app restarts, um, then I'm going to say um, I'm going to take my my off, and I want to add my listener. Okay. So I keep the listener around, but I just I just sort of basically re re add it um, whenever I start things back up. Uh, and I'm going to do the same thing when I stop. Uh, is if um, my auth state listener uh, isn't null, then I'm just going to remove it. Remove auth state listener, um, auth state listener. Okay, and something like that. Okay, uh, I could run it now, and I wouldn't see that that much um, that much exciting going on. I'm kind of going to get my slides caught up here. Uh, looks like we did everything that we were supposed to. Um, so it looks good. Um, I guess the other thing is, yeah, one more thing. I almost forgot this, and this would have been a big deal. Um, so I didn't initialize my my uh, my auth, right? So I do need that instance. So I'm going to go back up here and set my auth um, is equal to Firebase auth dot get instance, and that's a singleton that hangs around. Um, so that's 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 good. So remember, we had sort of. We had a, a, a get di um, get instance, uh, right? We've used this. I want to say we've used this before, like with the database. Okay. All right, uh, and we talked about sort of restricting them to their own part of the JSON tree. Uh, on start, on stop. Here's the code. Uh, you've got it for your reference for for later. Okay, we talked about that. All right. Um, and it's not going to work. Uh, if you want to test it out, just you know, sort of incrementally uh, testing things, you can. Um, but you'll notice that that if you click login, nothing's going to happen because we haven't told it yet how to log in. So let's let's um, let's do that right now. And just to give you a feel for how short it is and how easy it is, um, in our on login method, so this is our callback that's going to be called when we click that 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 login button right here. So we click this, and it's going to call on login in main activity. Um, we we have pretty much a one a one liner here. So um, mauth we're going to sign in with the email and password that we were passed back um, you know from the edit text. Um, and then since we want to to check to see if it was successful or not, we add an on complete listener. Now technically even that is really optional. It should work without it as long as it's successful. Um, but this right here is going to let us throw a little bit better, um, a little bit more helpful error. Okay. So let's do it. Uh, uh, let's see. So if I go down here on login, and let's be hopeful and assume that this guy's going to be done. All right. So we take uh, my off, and I'm going to sign in with email password. Email 
password. Okay. And then I'm going to, to add an oncomplete listener um, like this. Uh, and for the oncomplete listener, um, I'm going to make one that kind of hangs around uh, like so. Uh, so what is this thing? So let's let's um, let's go up back up to the top of the program and uh, we're going to declare an on complete listener called my on complete listener like so and I'm going to initialize this this is another listener so I'm going to add it to this to this code here so in addition to my auth state listener I'm going to say my on complete listener um, is let's see so a new on complete listener all right like so uh, and basically what happens is when you sign in um, it's going to return a task that tells you whether it was successful or not so so for instance task uh, I can check like like is successful right so what I really want is I want to say if the task isn't successful right then I want to show a login error right now we gave you some code here right so down um, down in the bottom of this right here there's a show login error um, that goes ahead and, and gets the the login fragment and then it calls on login um, all on login error so uh, not that we really need to see this here but let's let's um, scroll down here basically all that does is it pops up a little a little um, dialogue and it and it sort of handles some state as far as how we're logging in or not so it you know it stops it stops the little spinner spinning and everything all right so we don't sort of hang there forever okay so we want to call this guy and we get a, a chance to, to pass in the method so up in my um, up in this this guy right here I'm going to say shoe login error and I'm going to say login uh, failed all right like so semicolon at the end and run it all right, so when you ran it, you probably found that you um, that it that it crashed, um, and that's because uh, user was null, and we were trying to call user dot uh, get display name. So uh, let's back off and do what I did in the slides, right? So just go ahead and tag the user, right? Um, and you can probably see in the logs that the user is null, right? Uh, so let's try try logging in here. So whatever you set up for for a user on your back end. So I did like a see it see it d dot com. Uh, and c c c c c c um and log in and let's see so mine is actually giving me a fail um so what did i do here that's that's a good question let's see um i want to see if this is uh if that's if i just mistyped something a a a a a a i know this guy has worked in the past yeah there we go so i must have mistyped something with the, with the c at d.com um Anyway, so so you get in there. You should yours should be blank, um, but you could you could certainly um, go ahead and and add a password, right? So let's see. So your service, I don't know, foo, username, uh, foo, and your password is is foo password, right? Um, and create it there, and then you could check to see in your in your console. If you wanted to to um, to see what's in there, you can go back and you can see I are like I said I I already have a bunch of guys here, um, but I just made this one right here. Okay, all right. Uh, so looks good so far. Um, we want to be able to sign out. Um, right now we have no way of doing that. Sign out it turns out is a one liner, right? So um, you can go ahead and do this. So I'm getting getting uh, caught up here. Uh, so logout is really um, <laughs> when they click the button and our main activity is, is asking to log out, which is called mauth.signout. Right? The neat thing about this is that we don't have to do anything special because the act of signing out is going um, is gonna fire an event that our auth state change listener is going to detect. Right? So uh, let me go ahead and do this. Uh, so on logout is just a little bit further down here. Uh, m off dot sign out okay and again it's actually gonna bounce us back up to our listener which is still here and once we've signed out the user is null again and if the user is null it's gonna go to the login fragment
all right so try it out things should work great and um, and that's really it for this uh, for this unit all right um, so every everything everything is here uh, it's wonderful logout works right see you back next time for Google uh, Google login right so um, some very good stuff right bye mm -hmm.